You know, when you think about the Italian football, you're gonna think about the glorious history that they had in the World Cups. You think about all the Italian legends whose stories are romanticized in football. You even think about the big clubs like Juventus, Inter, and Milan. But unless you follow Italian football closely, there's a chance that you don't know much about one of the most dominant teams of Europe in their time, and the tragic ending that they had. Today, we're gonna talk about Torino Football Club. And not just any Torino, we're gonna talk about the legend of the Grande Torino team. But the question is, what makes the legend of the Grande Torino so special to us? Well, stick around and find out! Right, so... The story of the Grande Torino team is one of the most victorious and tragic stories in the long history of Italian football. Throughout the 1940s, the Torino side was unstoppable in every sense of the word. The team brushed everyone aside with their attacking and dominating football. They even set quite a few records along the way. Their tactics were far ahead of their time, kinda like what would eventually be called the total football by the Dutch in the 70s. These guys have been doing that in the 1940s. They had class and style. They were known as a Grande Torino. Their finest hour came during the 1947-48 season, when they broke a bunch of records, including the best ever goal difference of plus 92, which stands to this day. Even at one international game, 10 out of the 11 players in the Italian national team came from Torino, which is a record to this day. And the only reason it wasn't all 11 of them was because the Italian national coach didn't want to field all 11 from the same club. So the Torino goalkeeper was forced to sit out of the match. Between 1942 and 49, they won a record 5 consecutive Serie A titles within those years. With the Italian league stopped in 1944 and 45, even the Second World War couldn't stop their momentum. Torino became the symbol of a country that was getting back on its feet after the World War. Times were good for the Grande Torino. They were determined, they were dominant, and they were one of the pillars of the world football. But as with everything in life, all good things must come to an end. However, it wasn't a natural end for Torino, but it was a tragedy. A tragedy that's inked forever in the history of Italian football. But before we talk about the tragic end of the Grande Torino team, don't forget to leave a like or comment. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm as a lot of time goes into making these videos. So, 4th of May, 1949. This is one of the darkest days in Italian football, as this was the day when the entire Grande Torino perished. After playing a friendly game against Benfica in Lisbon, with 31 passengers and crew on board, the plane left Portugal to fly back to Italy. Unfortunately, the plane had to fly through thick fog and poor visibility, and crash into a basilica on Superga Hill, outside Turin. All 31 people on board, including the players, club officials, and several journalists, were instantly killed. In an instant, the entire Grande Torino team was no longer there. More than half a million people attended the funerals of the players, staff, and the journalists. The incident is called the Superga accident, after the hill that the plane crashed into. Unlike Manchester United, who managed to recover and rebuild after the Munich plane crash, Torino never really moved on from the Superga incident, and instead lived with the memory of the team that was once loved by the entire country. And who knows, we may never see Torino hit those heights ever again, but they'll always be a massive part of the glorious history of Italian football. So, what do you think about the video today? I hope you have an appreciation for one of the most symbolic teams in football history. Is there a football story that you'd like me to cover in a video? Let me know in the comments section below, but be nice to each other. I'm Football Drawn, and I like to tell football stories with comic and drawings. If you enjoyed this video, check out the rest of the channel as well.